What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. We are going through a growth spurt right now on the channel. We're adding a thousand subscribers a day. So if you wanna help the spurt, smash that thumbs up button early for me, comment anything down below for the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Subscribe, man. I wanna be the best healthy eating channel on this platform, that is the goal. And with you guys constantly tuning in, I say we're well on our way. A good breakfast burrito is a lot like a toxic relationship. Yeah, it's fun at first, everything seems fine. But when the smoke clears and it's all said and done, You've spiraled into a deep depression. You've gained 15 pounds and now she's dating someone more attractive and in better shape It's never good What I'm trying to say is that a regular breakfast burrito is loaded with calories doesn't have quite enough protein and ain't helping us stay lean or build muscle But today we're gonna change that in this video We'll be making anabolic breakfast burritos for the entire week loaded to the gills with bacon egg and cheese Even more cheese and so much flavor Ooh! if you've been looking for a high protein breakfast burrito that isn't gonna treat your feelings like a discarded Snickers wrapper then look no further than this recipe. Could just be the happily ever after you've been searching for. And as always, the RJF Anabolic Cookbook link in my description has been updated. This recipe's in there along with every other one of my anabolic recipes. High protein, all your favorite foods. We have a version of them in this book. Dieting does not have to be boring. We can still eat the foods we love. We just gotta make the better choices and we can reap all the benefits. You eat it one time, you get every future recipe for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! In order to fit all of this bacon, all of this egg, and all of this cheese into a burrito, we need a big tortilla. I use these Mission Burrito Tortillas. You can find them, that's upside down. You can find them at just about any grocery store. Every one of them near me has these, so it should be an easy find. If you can't find this brand, as long as it's around 200 calories, you'll be straight. Let's go. So the first thing we do is lay down a piece of foil, hit it with nonstick, and set our burrito tortilla down right in the middle. And the first thing we do is take 56 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese, weighed out in a bowl here, so I'm gonna sprinkle it as our first layer in this burrito. And then next, I'm gonna add about 32 grams of a mild salsa. Got it sitting on my scale, and I'm just gonna watch it as I add it. This is gonna add a ton of flavor to this breakfast burrito. And then to make some magic happen, we're also gonna add 32 grams of white queso. What this does is helps lock in the moisture of this burrito. Sometimes if you don't have any sauces, they can get a little dry when you microwave them or put them in the oven. This queso is gonna ensure that every time you make these, even a week out, it's gonna be extra cheesy, extra moist, extra delicious. Now to cut down on calories and add even more protein, instead of regular eggs, we'll be using 92 grams of liquid egg whites. I'm just gonna weigh those out in a bowl. And then instead of regular bacon, because there's lots of fat in that, less protein, we'll be using Canadian bacon. Lots of protein here, lots of flavor. So what we need is 84 grams. I'm just gonna take scissors, cut the pieces off, let them fall into my bowl until that equals 84 grams. I'm letting them fall right in with the egg whites because we're trying to save time here. We're trying to be efficient. Those two being in the same bowl doesn't matter as long as you're weighing it right. And then once everything is weighed out in our bowl, what I'm gonna do is preheat a skillet to medium, medium high heat, hit it with nonstick spread, and dump my egg whites and bacon right in here. And then once our egg whites are cooked, I'm just gonna go ahead and add these right into my burrito. Now we just gotta fold this thing. Folding a burrito can be a little tricky. What I like to do, push everything to the middle like so, and then take this end and this end, make them touch. Or rotate it a bit, take this end, fold it over like so. Boom, see this? I'm gonna tuck these sides in and we're left with this flap. Then we just roll it over and bingo. That's a perfect burrito if I've ever seen one. And now just wrap your foil around it. And what do you know, in no time at all, we got an anabolic breakfast burrito ready to go. We can either microwave it, throw it in the oven for a little bit, put it in the freezer, put it in the fridge. It's gonna be good for a while. But this video is about making them for the entire week. So what I always say about these videos, any of my recipes, if you wanna make multiple, just multiply the ingredients by the number of days you wanna make. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's get to making some burritos. Come on. And 
and boom, just like that, we have seven bacon, egg, and cheese anabolic burritos ready to go. Perfect for meal prep. Perfect when you don't have time to cook in the morning. Two to three minutes in the microwave, just unwrap it from the foil, and she's gonna be good to go. But if you want the best cooking experience, in my opinion, here's what we gotta do. We will leave it wrapped in foil. We're gonna toss it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. That's gonna be perfect. Everything inside is gonna get gooey, and she's gonna be mm, a real treat. Woo! I'm telling you guys, when I return, we're gonna have something truly special on our hands. Let's go. And here we go. After 20 minutes in the oven, you can see we've had a little bit of cheese leakage, but that's to be expected, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna take my knife right here. We're gonna cut down the middle and just see how she turned out. And ooh, baby, check that out, man. We got the Canadian bacon. We got all this cheese melted and gooey. We got the eggs in there. We got the salsa and we got the white queso, man. I'm telling y'all, you've never had a better breakfast burrito than this one. If you made it this far into the video, smash that thumbs up button, comment anything thing down below helps the algorithm let me know what you guys want to see subscribe if you're not subscribed and i think it's time ladies and gentlemen to pull up a chair strap on the old feed bag and try this thing together you guys ready let's go All right, man, let's do the dang thing. I am starving, so it's gonna be excellent. But first, let's get them greens in, baby. To no one's surprise, there's nothing green in this entire thing. I guess you could call salsa like getting our greens in, our reds. But this way, man, I'm just gonna be covered just in case. One scoop. Mm. Woo! Available at finalbossformance.com. Use code RGF10 for 10% off. And any of the apparel, the channel merch, man. Finalbossathletics.com. Same code. All right, let's get down to business. A little bit of time's passed. She's cooled down a little bit, but doesn't mean she's gonna be any less good. Oh my goodness, look at that, man. Does that not look magical? You get a little bit of everything right in there. That's what I like to call the perfect bite. Three, two, one, let go. So you got the Canadian bacon, unique flavor all on its own, a great flavor. You got the egg whites, but you don't really taste the egg whites. You know they're there, but they're covered up by salsa, queso cheese, and then the cheddar cheese melts in there just to create this perfect combination of cheesy, delicious goodness. Oh, baby. I mean, if you ordered this at a restaurant and you said, hey, waiter or waitress, I want that big breakfast burrito, and they brought this to you, you'd be like, uh, money well spent. <clears throat> See if we can just pick her up here. Baby, now that's how you eat a burrito. You just pick her up. But I gotta give you guys the visual, so I gotta chop her down the middle and show you what's inside. It's like one of them old Nestle Wonder Balls. Do you remember the Nestle Wonder Ball? Unless you're out of your 20s, probably not. Candy always sucked, but the mystery of what could be potentially inside, that was the real candy, you know what I mean? Mm. This is phenomenal. Mm. It's literally just the perfect blend of everything you need. The best part about this recipe is like, this one's excellent, right? But I got six more in there. I'm probably gonna eat them over the next couple days because that's how I try to, I do a lot of these videos. I have so much food prepped, it's not even funny. So when I end up doing a week's worth of food, I eat most of it in a couple days because I'm cheap. I don't wanna waste any. If I have it here and I'm working, I just grab it and eat it. But in your fridge, I would say these would be good for about four to five days for you might start noticing the taste get a little funny. So I recommend any burritos past that four day mark, throw them in the freezer. Then if you need to, you can cook them from frozen in the oven or sit them in the fridge the night before you want them. They'll be thawed by the next morning. And then when it's time to microwave them, two to three minutes and you're good to go. As much as I think baking them does make them taste a little bit better, microwaving them, they're still going to be excellent. Still going to be great. So with the anabolic diet and these recipes, building muscle, staying lean, eating foods you love has never been easier. And then when you prep them out so they're easy for grab and go, you're saving time. You're being more efficient and you always have something to just grab and take with you. It's going to replace fast food in your life. I've been there before. You're hungry, you don't know what you want, you look and there's a Burger King to your left and Arby's to your right and Dairy Queen's got that chicken strip basket with that gravy, you ain't saying no to that. So you end up getting 2,000 calories at Dairy Queen and you got a blizzard because there was a deal. You got 50 cents off the largest one. That's not doing any of us any good. Be the bigger man or woman. Pack your lunch, make the food in advance, prepare it out. And not only is your body gonna thank you, but all those extra likes on social media and the attention slash jealousy from your coworkers, who oh, can't put a price on that. No sirree. I'm not gonna lie, this is just on a whole, another level. The amount of flavors in here is staggering. That queso and that salsa, that's the key. Makes every bite really moist. Nothing in here dries out. It kind of takes the egg whites that don't really have a lot of flavor, spruces them up, man. I'm telling you, there's a lot of breakfast burrito recipes on the internet, but if you want one that not only tastes amazing, but isn't gonna have to make you go buy a whole new wardrobe after you eat a week's worth of them, this is the one you want, man. I guarantee it. In this entire burrito, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with is only 10 grams of fat, 50 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, two 
two grams of fiber, 482 calories. Considering the majority of people are starting their day with thousand calorie Starbucks drinks, donuts, swinging through Tim Hortons, getting a thing of pastries, Krispy Kremes with no protein, lots of sugar, kicks in your cravings for the rest of the day, scratch that off the list. Start your day with a normal amount of calories, extra protein, still make it delicious, sustainable energy throughout the course of the day, and actually feel full when you're done. That is the goal of these recipes and the goal of following the anabolic diet. Foods higher in protein, foods that are more thermogenic, foods that are gonna allow you to build muscle. Prioritize losing body fat over muscle when you're in a calorie deficit. It's not that complicated, man. All it takes is a little bit of time in that kitchen and uh, you'll be soaring with the eagles in no time. Final bite. Mm. I give this one an A+. And you already know, if you got that RGF anabolic cookbook and you've been following along with all the videos and all the recipes, then you already know that it's been updated. So this is in there along with every other one of my recipes. We got other types of burritos, we got donuts, we got pizzas, we got the versions of the foods that you love, except uh, they're not gonna make you grow love handles. I don't know if that worked, but we're keeping it in the video. Step-by-step -step guide, right in your pocket. Every calorie, macro, accounted for every ingredient down to the gram. You get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below. Helps the algorithm. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. We're on the road to a milli. I'm trying to crank these videos out as fast as I can. That way there's always content, always new ideas, always inspiration to be had. So I'm telling you, keep tuning in, keep sticking around, and you just might learn something good. Appreciate you guys as always, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. We counted this stuff in our macros. We're not just gonna leave it sitting there. Mm -hmm. Macros.